What's up guys, how my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. Today I'm gonna share my thoughts about this new release from Geek and Gorgeous. This is the A-Game 20. It is a 0.2% retinal product, which is one of the highest amount you can find on the market at the moment. If you guys know higher than this, leave it in the comments below, I would be very interested to check it out. But this is probably one of the best retinoids you can find over the counter especially considering the price, this is a very cost-effective option. I might compare it to the Ordinary's Retinal that they just released a couple of months ago. That one is also 0.2%, which is very, very high. Before I start, consider following me on Instagram. As always, subscribe to this channel for more skincare content. Check out my Patreon in case I want to help support the channel. And check out my TikTok. I have a TikTok around, okay? So, I'm gonna start, as always, with the packaging. We have a nice pump bottle, airless very easy to use no complaints here 10 out of 10. when it comes to price this one is 22 euros which might seem high for some people for a for a skincare product but let's not forget this is a retinal a retinal is very hard to stabilize most retinals are very expensive 60 euros 80 euros even 100 euros i've seen so this is one of the cheapest one of the most budget friendly retinal i've seen on the market the one from The Ordinary is around 16 euros, but you get only 15 mLs. I have no idea why they chose to go such a such a low amount of product, but yeah, this is gonna be even much more cost-effective than The Ordinary, which is supposed to be a budget-friendly option. Uh, so um, The Ordinary would be 32 euros for 30 mLs. And this is 22, it's 10 euros cheaper. That's like 50%, I guess. So uh, very cost-effective. When it comes to uh, irritating ingredients, we don't have any of those in here. No fragrance, no alcohol. This one is not fungal acne safe, unfortunately. It is. Uh, it has three fungal acne triggering ingredients. If you use constantly antifungal actives, though, you might still give it a shot. That's what I do. Um, now, the retinal in and of itself is going to be slightly irritating, especially such a high amount, because it's retinal, it is a retinoid. Speaking of retinoids, the difference between the retinol and retinal and why retinol is bigger, is better, in my opinion. Um, a retinol gets converted into retinal, and retinol gets converted into retinoic acid, which is what your skin is actually going to use for the anti-aging, anti-acne benefits. And um, basically, by using retinol, you skip one of those conversions. We don't know during these conversions, how much actually gets converted into retinoic acid. So the closer to retinoic acid, the better. Also, with retinol, you have to do two conversions. Your skin has to work over time for that. Uh, it also depends on your genetics. I guess for some people, more is going to be converted into retinoic acid, but some, for some people, re uh, less. So uh, by using a retinol product, you basically skip on conversion less irritating but more effective at the same time and also you get a higher chance of ending up with more retinoic acid the, the actual ingredient that your skin is going to use for the anti-aging benefits and anti-acne benefits uh, now my experience with the product the ingredient list what i really like about this product is that they they've also included ectoin which is an amazing antioxidant very soothing for the skin it helps repair your skin barrier reduce irritation 1% ectoin, which is one of the hottest ingredients at the moment. I've seen it everywhere. More and more, more brands are trying to include it in their products. They're also using panthenol, more than 1%. Um, what else? They're using some allantoin. So overall, a really nice blend of soothing ingredients to just make the retinol a little bit less irritating. They're, they're also using um, this new technology when it comes to stabilizing the retinol. They even said on their Instagram they're using, using a cellulose-based delivery system that protects the retinaldehyde via cellulose micro, micro particles, okay, which um, makes stabilize the retinol first of all, which is very important, and also um, gives it somewhat of a slower release into your skin, which is gonna make it a little bit less irritating. So you have the end, the soothing ingredients along with the this new. It is a new um, way of stabilizing the retinol, as far as I know. In all their other retinoid products, they're using the old way of stabilizing it, but only in this one, the 0.2%, they're using this newer stabilization system, um, 
which I, I wouldn't say it's better or worse, it's just newer and uh, the cellulose uh, makes the product just a tiny bit less yellow because for such high amount you are gonna get some some yellowness <laughs> but this um, specific way of stabilizing it makes it just a little bit less yellow uh, and uh, like I said stabilizes the retinaldehyde and makes it um, a tiny bit less a tiny bit less irritating because the release of it is a little bit slower on, on your skin let me actually show you how yellow it is uh, it is gonna stay in your pillowcase if you have a white pillowcase you are gonna see it in the morning <laughs> unfortunately it is a downside but it is what it is I mean I do use it only on half of my face and I can definitely see the half where I where I applied it it's nothing crazy but the yellowness is in there I don't know about the ordinary one I'm not sure what kind of system they are using in their retinol um, they are using some soothing ingredients I would still give the age to the Eaton Gorgeous I think they have a little bit more going for it um, and also the uh, the ordinary product has four phonolactic triggering ingredients and it has um, somewhat of a low longer ingredient list by the way I never tried I never actually tried the ordinary product so I can't really compare this I'm just comparing the products based on the ingredient list and based on the the price point but um, I never tried the the ordinary product this one my experience with this one I am using only I'm using it only on this side of my face the right side of my face because I do struggle with fungal acne so uh, I am testing it to see if it's gonna trigger my fungal acne or not I've used it three times on this side of my face so far so good <laughs> fingers crossed but um, if it ends up giving me a fungal acne flare-up I'm still gonna use it probably around my eye area kind of like an eye cream because I don't have any fungal acne flare-ups around my eyes so uh, I guess for the first time in my life I would use an eye cream a, a retinoid product around my eyes because I'm not really a fan of eye creams, but um, so far no irritation, no fungal acne flare-ups on this side of my face, which is good. I really, I really hope this is gonna work for me. But like I said, I'm using a lot of um, antifungal, not a lot. I'm just using constantly antifungal ingredients, which lowers the chance of uh, getting those fungal acne flare-ups. It might still happen though, and um, no irritation so far. I'm not sure if it's because I'm using constantly tretinoin and retinoids so my skin is kind of acclimatized to it but or maybe the product just is not that irritating if you guys have any experience with this one let me know and also if you have used the ordinary and the geek and gorgeous i would be very interested to see if you notice any difference in the efficacy or the irritation level just share your experience i'd be very interesting to, to check those out um and for so far so good i this is not gonna be like a full review just some first impressions and speaking of first impressions the texture of the product it is definitely more lightweight than the um a game 5 and a game 10 that they have and uh it is somewhat more of a dry touch and more of a it's not a matte finish but it's not as shiny as the those products so that's that's a win for me because i'm i'm really i have oily skin so this works even better for me and also it has a higher amount of retinol which I'm a fan of uh, I cannot really say uh, enough good things about this one I'm really really a fan very high amount of retinol good price point nice texture no fungal acne flare-ups for me so far so um, I feel like this is gonna be a win I did uh, stop using the tretinoin just to give this one a fair chance if I'm gonna notice it doesn't trigger my fungal acne I am gonna use it on my entire face probably starting ne next week and um yeah really liking it so far really liking it you guys let me know what you think about it if you've tried it or not um are you planning to purchase it or not what other retinol products do you know that have such a high amount of retinol i'll be very interested to check those out love you all guys see you on my next video bye